You know what I came across the other day on Reddit? I don't, and how would I know? <laughs> the premise of your question is absurd. Um, there's a subreddit called uh, Gang Stalking, mm-hmm. and it's it's really um, it's it's really just just people who are showing early signs or late signs of schizophrenia. Mm-hmm. But they've all come together, and uh, it's now a conspiracy theory that they all have that there's an organization that used to erect energy weapons and hire a bunch of people and actors to mess with them and discredit them um, until they go crazy and, and either kill somebody or kill themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's weird, because when you read it, you don't want to immediately say, you're mentally ill, you need to seek attention or help, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You want to be like, well, let's hear them out, and then you keep reading it and you're like... Nope, this person just needs this person just needs help. They they just need help and you can't tell them and then I get depressed. Yeah. So you're telling me that they're on the popular website Reddit that there's a subreddit full of just lunatics? Y- yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, there's there yeah. Mm. And uh shocking. And and people that I think some of the some of which have good intentions, they're like can can somebody help me understand like why someone would be targeted like that or it sounds exactly like when I was going through some mental issues. Yeah. And then medication helped me. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, I forget I forget the term they called the people that are in on the theory, but they would accuse them of being those people, and then they would block them. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, that's the easiest way to... Yeah. When you, you know, when you're a paranoid schizophrenic. Yeah. And so... I initially thought, wow, okay, I'm gonna gonna read some of these crazy conspiracy theories, and then I was like, no, they're all they all have a similar um, mental illness and should seek help, and it's it's not an entertaining thing to do. So then I I closed it. I, I don't think I'll go back. I don't think I'm going back. Mm-hmm. Um, it was sad. Well, it's probably because that organization that's um, trying to use direct energy weapons against them isn't paying mm-hmm. you to go to back, right? That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that's most of the internet. I don't know if you knew that. It's just like niche. <laughs> areas where lunatics gather <laughs> yeah. to spout crazy conspiracies. Well, usually I only skim the surface, you know? Mm. I, I go where corporations want me to be, you know? Uh, I like to look and read about movies, which will encourage me to, to watch movies or TV shows and eat snacks from the commercials. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's usually where I find my bread and butter on the internet. But. Hey, speaking of um, lunatics... Mm. Um, that you just don't want to see. Have you seen the newest trailer for that Joker standalone film? No, because I was worried it wasn't going to be any good. Oh, yeah, it looks like dog shit. <laughs> it looks like dog shit that a cat threw up on. It's Oh. Mm. You know how the famous comic book character the Joker is famous for um just being alone and not really having an uh, you know, an opposing superhero with like yeah. diametrically opposed opposing views? And, like, the interaction oh, yeah. between their views is, uh, you know, the most interesting thing. Yeah. Yeah. He's just by himself, yeah. Traditionally, yeah. he's just by himself being yeah. by himself. Robert De Niro's in it. What for? <laughs> he's just, he's in it. He's like a guy in the movie. Oh. Is he, is he like the Joker's dad? I think he's a talk show host that makes fun of the Joker. Because the Joker's a stand-up comedian. Oh. And maybe sometimes okay. he's like a part-time clown. Yeah, very relatable. You gotta, like, we gotta understand where the Joker came from, you know? That's yeah. the most interesting thing about him, is where did he come from? Yeah, because I think I think once once they're able to explain his motivations, mm-hmm. I think you'll really feel for the character, and it'll give deeper yeah, uh, deeper things into the storylines for when he does fight another mentally ill person. Well, no, this is a standalone film, and I did not see Bruce Wayne or Batman in this film, so I don't think... <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't seem like, yeah. Do they do they do any of his stand up in the in the trailer? Do they hear any of his stand up? I think so. I've, I've already, already I have a really yeah. strong mental process for blocking it out when I'm like I don't care about this or this was stupid. Like my memory just yeah. immediately starts disintegrating. Like if he doesn't just like respect the process and doesn't have some like solid, just base at least for a joke, then what is he even doing? We well, got to understand like, you know. He's a disturbed person, and then his mm. mom dies. So, like, what is he uh, supposed to do but yeah. go crazy and evil? Crazy means yeah. evil, also, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know we've been over this before, I yeah. think, on the podcast, but, you know, so he's yeah. mentally disturbed. 
if you don't, if you can't figure out and fit into society perfectly, then you're definitely a villain. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If you can't think right, then you are the problem. Yep. I don't want to blame Alfred Hitchcock, but if he hadn't made Psycho so good, then maybe mentally ill people wouldn't be the villains in every every horror movie ever. Um, no, I feel okay blaming him. Okay, I mean, good. He's wicked dead, good. too, right? Oh, he's so dead. And he kind of sucked when he was alive anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's fine. I, ne- I never hung out with him. I never met him. He, uh, he could have sucked, yeah. You know, I hate to cast judgment. Well, he made movies, and I don't know many people who make movies who are wicked cool, so... <laughs> You heard about this Weinstein guy? <laughs> Who, Harvey? Yeah. My man Harvey? Your man, yeah, your man Harvey. Who you definitely <laughs> were friends with and did hang out with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know, were there aspects of his life that I wouldn't have agreed with? Yeah, but when we were hanging out, <laughs> he was super chill. Yeah, cool. He, he never once masturbated into any plants that I have, and he never made me do anything I was uncomfortable with. For any any reason, I just wanted to let everyone know that I think the Joker movie is going to be dog shit. (laughs) But what if you take a well-established director, uh, you know, in his waning years, and then you just uh, just give him a superhero character or a a comic character that um, he probably doesn't give a shit about? Is that and uh, have him make a movie? Is that who's directing this? I don't know who's directing this. I'm pretty sure it's Scorsese. I'm pretty sure it's Martin Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese is directing a Joker film. Yeah, I mean, listen, was that a fever dream I had? Maybe. Yeah, I'm but... definitely gonna have to go ahead and type that into Google. Okay, the Joker the Joker film is directed by somebody called Todd Phillips. The Todd Phillips? I don't know. That's what Martin Scorsese goes by. It's not. Let's see. Oh, good. He's best known for writing and directing the comedy films Road Trip, Old School, Starsky and Hutch, and the Hangover trilogy. Oh. So. I thought Scor- for some reason, I thought Scorsese was involved. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because it looks so good. <laughs> Is it? Is that it? <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. I gotta, I gotta read IMDb even more now, so that I'm not caught off guard like this again. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the Heads Up Podcast with Jeff and Sean. I'm Sean. I'm Jeff. This is a podcast where we do three things. Uh, and typically for me, one of them isn't introducing, but that conversation went on way too long. So, I'm taking it. I'm jumping in. <laughs> please, please. What are, we, what are we doing here? You said, you said there are three things? At the end, we'll, we'll review a candy. Uh, but I'll, that I'll segment like that. dissolves so quickly. We're all, we're, we just try to one up each other with jokes about just topics we've already talked about. Mm, it's mm. it's a garbage fire of a segment, but it's somehow the best. So <laughs> you got that to look forward to. The middle segment mm. is, I think we still we talk about a movie. You bring up a movie, and then we try to make an ex- extended universe about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for sure. That just always involves us saying that they all go on an island like Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. And that's like the highlight of that segment. So. Mm. You kind of just, you can skip that. We'll put some time codes in where you can skip, just to let you know. Um, you don't have to listen to us kind of work our way back to that again. It's kind of the same process every, it's a little thing we like to call the process. Yeah. But first, we, um, oh boy. You got this. It's the animal. Th- we, we reinvent an animal, we talk about an animal, we learn about an animal. Yeah. We learn about how God didn't do it right, mm-hmm. and then we fix it. Yeah. So let's do that now. Well, now it's time to get online through our internet service provider. It'll be cool. Here we go. Now, I assume you did your research and found an animal. and. Yeah, my animal is called Todd Phillips. Uh, <laughs> Todd Phillips is an American director, producer, screenwriter, and actor. Whoa. Um, yeah. Let me hold on. Let me click on his picture. Oh no! It just shows me a close-up I, picture of his face, which is gross. I can't even. I can't even find him. What? He doesn't exist. <laughs> what are you? Oh my god! <laughs> go go to Google. Go on. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and just type Joker film director. Jesus. Oh, you mean Todd Todd Phillips? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he's he's already directed great. Superhero people like Robert Downey Jr. Does that help? Mark Maron's in this film? In the Joker movie? Yeah. 
Wow. I wonder, I wonder who he doesn't get along with and then talks about getting along with later. He can just do a bunch of, like, really <laughs> nervous self, self-inspection. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I interviewed the president on my podcast. I don't know. <laughs> um, I just, I just hope it, I hope he does, does the Joker more like old school where he has the Joker, um, kicked out of his house by his, like, fiance, and then he has to live in a house that eventually the property gets bought by the school nearby college. And so he has to f- f- form a fraternity. I just, I, I hope, I hope that's a plot. What is Zazzy Beats is in this too? Really? It's kind of a shame, but okay. <laughs> She's got to she got to get work, you know. She can put herself out there. Yeah, no, that's fair. I like I get it. <laughs> All right, what what animal? Are we doing Todd Phillips? <laughs> <laughs> well, God may have messed up there, but Sean, what do you know about orcas? They're, they're like a type of whale, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. They're uh, killer whales. Killer whales, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, go on. I think killer whales might not actually be whales, though, right? Uh, I think they more are along the line of, like, a dolphin, but they're, like, way big. Yeah. I think they're, like, a toothed, toothed whale. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. That's what Wikipedia said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So whales are like those dipshit mammals that went back to the ocean, right? I think so. I feel like, yeah. But you think they'd they'd have more qualities of, like, someone that was on land at one point other than breathing, having to breathe air. (laughs) Just, like, the worst quality to have in the ocean. (laughs) I'm just, I'm anticipating. We got a lot of work to do on these fat boys. (laughs) Yeah. You know what's what's interesting, though, is... um, their breathing is not automatic, so they have to focus on breathing. So when they sleep, they can they only shut down half their brain at a time. That's useful. I think we'll be keeping that. Yeah. So like when their right brain is shut off, their left eye is open, and vice versa. That's pretty good. That's a pretty yeah. that's a pretty good tactic, though. <laughs> Can't fucking sneak up on me. <laughs> sleep with one eye open, motherfucker. Uh, that's why they I, call I, me I, killer. <laughs> I'd be more willing to work more hours if I only had to have half my brain on at a time. Oh, I can't wait until, like, robots evolve to the point where they you can just put on a helmet and then you're just asleep mm. for eight hours oh. while the robot pilots your body and does work for you. Oh, so good. <laughs> Look, really looking forward to just giving up, like, a third of my day every day <laughs> to a robot. Yeah, preferably, preferably, especially the time when I'm at the gym or something, you know? Oh, yeah, no, it'll do, like, all the stuff I don't want to do and then... And I'm I'm keeping eight hours, eight to ten hours for sleeping. Yeah. So it's just I'm really just going to be awake for eight hours for you know casual play, mm. free space. They're no, they're killer whales. They're they're known for eating other whales and dolphins. Mm-hmm. Like the, they have a very you know wide variety of things they'll eat, but they like you know teaming up and killing larger whales or at least the babies of larger whales. Oh yeah, gotta go for the babies, the easy stuff. <laughs> They eat birds, too. That's cool. Looks like they live in every ocean, pretty much. Very diverse, very diverse. They leap out of the water, a behavior known as porpoising. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like them. This is a good animal to pick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they kill babies. Their brain is weird. Yeah. I'm pretty sure when they... they uh, there's a section on here where uh, they describe there's like five different kinds of killer whales, and they say it's it, it feels more like races or different species, but I was like... There are different races of killer whales. Yeah, there's like, there's like the gang leader, there's the thug, <laughs> and then there's like the pickpocket. <laughs> Does it say how long they can, they can hold their breath? I haven't, I haven't been looking at the breathing stuff. I've been looking at the uh, feeding stuff. Apex predators, like, yeah. like humans. No natural predators, sometimes called the wolves of the sea. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's not as cool as it sounds. It would be if they get wolf tattoos together, because they have strong family social groups. <laughs> well, that might be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they eat salmon, just like me. Mm. I like them. I think I found my spirit animal. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you know, you look at some apex predators, and they're like, I hunt alone. Yeah. And it's like, man, that's risky. You, yeah. You get nobody to watch you back. But these guys are like, yeah, we we operate in a pack. We separate the babies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Then we kill and eat them. It's like, all right. I mean, that's, that might be peer pressure on, in some people, <laughs> you know, in some parts there, but... Yeah. 
Think about the ones that are born into that lifestyle, you know? They don't, they don't know any other options. Yes, thank you. They have the second heaviest brains among marine mammals after the sperm whale. Yeah. I don't know, though. That's not <laughs> as important. Is brain heft important to intelligence? That's a, that's a great question. I don't, well, I don't think so, because I don't, I don't see whales building, you know, anything, yeah. period. Yeah. I, th- I think intellectually I could take out a sperm whale. Like, just outthink it, period? Or, like, <laughs> use your brain to kill it? Um, just outthink it, yeah. you know. I'll support that. <laughs> you know, uh, on most topics. I mean, other than probably, like, krill or baleen. It's a feat of strength or holding my breath underwater. Sure, the sperm whale will get me. But straight up brain, intellect, I got a sperm whale. Any sperm whale. The smartest sperm whale, not even a problem for me. All right. I don't, I don't think. Yeah. That may just be a little braggadocio, but we can, is, that, is that the right word? Sure. We can test it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like a boat ride's probably not too expensive. <laughs> we'll start a we'll start a uh, an Indiegogo. Is that the is that the It's like a Kickstarter, right? Yeah, but Kickstarter you have to like have a product. Indiegogo you say, "I need money, please." Uh okay, well we can just we we could do both. All right. We'll kickstart um uh, whale brain and it's for as little as ten a ten dollar um, donate donation or whatever they call them on Indiegogo or Kickstarter. Um, you will get a thank you in the podcast where we air the audio of me just fucking schooling a sperm whale. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. It <laughs> the hundred and fifty dollar level. Um, you will get you'll get a, a video chat from me talking about an experience one on one for at least 10 minutes and a handwritten thank you letter ma- mailed to you. Yeah, and all the lower tiers. You'll also get your name <laughs> yeah, in the podcast. The <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, for a $1,000 tier. You're going to get a jar of the sand of the beach where we took off to go to go school the, the sperm whale. Yep. Um, yep. You're going to get the GoPro video mm-hmm. of me just like talking shit at the sperm whale. You're going to get behind the scenes footage. I'll be <laughs> there with the camera. <laughs> so we'll get another angle on it. Yeah. You'll get that. <laughs> you get your name in the credits at the end of that behind the scenes footage. Yeah. Um plus the lower tiers. Plus everything all lower tiers. Yeah. Plus. Yeah. As a stretch goal. <laughs> <laughs> as a stretch goal, Jeff will also outsmart an otter. <laughs> uh a fox. Yeah. Notoriously witty foxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean if we if we make more than enough money, we'll turn it into a whole series where I school all kinds of animals. We could sell this to the, like the Discovery Channel. Oh, you know it. At least Nat Geo. Disney's got all the money in the world. Our, is Jeff smarter than a blank? <laughs> <laughs> is Jeff smarter than a flock of pigeons? And you'll try to outsmart the pigeons. Yeah. I was about to say like ravens, but I don't think... We, we have to build up to that. We'll do some training. They're really smart. With, with time. With time. Yeah. Could, That'll they'll be like, probably solve, solve more puzzles than me. Yeah, I was gonna say that's, that's gotta be like a cage match. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of Sudoku to train for that. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, sorry. Back to <laughs> yeah. Go on. The, this was a good addition, but <laughs> <laughs> this is a good addition. I had a lot of fun doing it, but we gotta get back to these these killer whales. Uh... Now I will say, as a human being, mm. and I don't want to keep teasing when we fix humans. <laughs> I don't want to keep doing that, but I, I, not having a big old, like, whale tail mm-hmm. to slap water in a behavior called tail slapping, mm-hmm. it's kind of disappointing as a person. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean to sound like a furry or nothing. I don't know, maybe yeah. a, a, I don't know what they call them, a blubbery? I kind of already am a blubbery. <laughs> I made myself sad. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it would be cool to have a big, just slap the water when you're in the... Yeah. That would be cool. Is, is there is there a, a, a purpose to that other than ha- them just having fun? Um, these activities may have a variety of purposes, such as courtship, gross, communication, I don't see it, dislodging parasites, gross, or play. All right, well, most of those reasons were gross or stupid, so maybe I don't miss it so much now. <laughs> Now, Sean, in, the, in like the early 2000s, when they would say a girl has a whale tail, what, what did they mean by that? Oh, that's a great question, Jeff, but um, I think you know I don't know, just why you're asking. <laughs> what was the, I had to look up something the other day. 
The uh, clapping cheeks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know clapping cheeks. Yeah, that was the Area Fifty One thing that I only learned terrible things from. So if I don't, if I'm not up with the modern sex lingo, I'm definitely not up with the two thousands sex lingo. <sighs> it's disappointing. That that's disappointing. It was it like a at the pool thing? She'd like slap her feet in the water <laughs> to dislodge parasites. Is that? It wasn't, but it is. It is now. Yo, man. <laughs> That girl's got whale tail. She's like slapping her feet. Like you see little like bugs coming off. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's when it, it's when a, a girl would wear her her thong high, and so the, so the part that stuck out of the jeans was in the shape of a whale tail. All right. Well, that's really disappointing, and I like my version better. I just don't get people, Jeff. Okay. I no. I understand. I just don't get. I understand them. that. Um, you know, these, these whales move in pods, which I don't, we should call them gangs or something. Mm -hmm. Like crime families. Yeah. That might be better. The traveling crime families. So the killer whale, the killer whale is, is a nickname that was given to them by ancient sailors. Mm -hmm. And it just stuck all these years. Mm. They would just watch them, you know, hunt other whales. Well, you know, not much to do back then. No TV, so I just got to go out in the water and watch whales kill each other. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't seen uh, how long they can hold their breath. I have no idea. I guess I can just type it into Google. Yeah, why don't you type it into Google? This, this always ends well. <laughs> oh yeah, we keep them in um, like aquariums. Yeah, that's not good. Right. These are the yeah. ones. Was that the one? Was this was this the kind of whale that jumped over the kid to be free, free, free Willy, free Willy? Don't don't jump ahead to the movie segment. <laughs> I'm not. I didn't know that there was a movie segment. Oh, oh no, I get it. Okay, I see what you're doing. It is. It, it is. is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, so it says orcas usually have a diving pattern. It's 15 minutes they can hold their breath. Can you imagine living in the ocean and only be able to hold your breath for 15 minutes? Yeah, can't like the giant blue whales hold it for like hours? Yeah, I think so. All right. But you know, you know that whale from Free Willy? Not personally, but I saw the movie <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah. After that movie came out, there was a big movement to actually free that whale. Yeah. It was, it was, they trapped it as a calf, and, it, you know. Um, yeah, I saw the movie. I just... I just uh... <laughs> In the movie, he was captured as more of a grown whale. That's why it was hard to train. All right, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Okay. But... Um, there was this big movement to free him, so some guy who, like, invested heavily in, in the early dot-com boom was spending money to free him, and they were trying to get him ready to be freed, and he could only hold his breath for two minutes. <laughs> the whale. <laughs> Fucking pathetic. <laughs> they, so they were trying to, they, they would go into this specialized tank, they'd try to teach him to try to hold his breath longer and try to hunt and, and eat fish, and he, he was sucking real hard at it. It was it was uh, it was sad, yeah. very sad. They eventually set up a whole thing near Norway where they originally caught him and tried to get him to integrate with the pods of whales that were over there. And uh, when they ran out of money when the dot com crashed, mm -hmm. they went to a tough love approach, where like if he came up to the boat or something, you t you're supposed to turn your back or go below deck. Oh shit! <laughs> and so they were doing that for a few days. And when they came back around to him, when he like left the boat, they couldn't find him. And they could they, they took a helicopter up. They saw the pot of whales that they were trying to play with. He wasn't there. Like I think like three or four months later, he showed up on like a, a coast, co a coastal town somewhere, and was like, just playing with people. And they were hand feeding him until he died. Like three months later. Well, um, <laughs> that's a happy ending, though. <laughs> yeah. He found people who cared for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but it costs, I think, over $28 million to try to rehabilitate him. Why didn't they just um, fucking throw him back in the ocean? What, like... Well, because he couldn't hunt or hold his breath, so <laughs> it was kind of a hard thing to do. Plus, they, they run in families. Yeah. So they needed to get him in with the group, but <laughs> it wasn't happening right. because we ruined him. Well, he kind of ruined himself. Yeah. <laughs> well, by being captured as a <laughs> That's baby. That's right. That's right. Being hand fed in the swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> well, just, then just don't let him go. Like he's got to live on the inside forever now. I know. 
But it had the opposite of, uh, of that Finding Nemo movie, where like everyone's like, I want a clownfish. They're like, this whale should be free. He's a celebrity whale. In the movie, he goes free. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> sad. I'm all about sad stories today. So. It sounds like, yeah, you're kind of fucking bumming me out. <laughs> I got a day off and fucking hour or two after I wake up, I got to fucking record this bummer of a podcast. All right, let's fix these whales. Uh, one, they don't have to breathe air anymore. Is that too obvious? Can we just give them gills or something? They can breathe air. They don't have to. Yeah. Oh, that's even better. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, they have the ability, but they can also just breathe underwater. And you know what? You know, you know that big circle patch that I always confuse for an eye? That's their eye now. I'm tired. I'm tired of thinking that's their eye. Make oh yeah, it's a little dot. That's a good. Yeah, that's that'll make it a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> just that big old thing there. Yeah, it helps them see in underwater. Yeah. Care. I just I'm just tired of of going. Oh no, that's not their eye. No, that's a great. That's a great. That's a great point. <laughs> They're always sleeping, so. It, they're only ever using half of their brain. They're never fully awake. Okay. I don't see how that helps them. How about... <laughs> it's just kind of a weird thing that they would do then. How about this? If they... Okay, they're not pods anymore. They're crime families. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to make them a little gentler too, where instead of mm. just outright killing other whales' babies, they yeah. hit them up for, for protection fish. So yeah. these big whales, you know, that like swallow a bunch of fish all at once or strain mm. all the little uh, things out of the water. Yeah. They show First, up and they're like, oh, fuck, a crime family. Yeah. Percentage is going to go back to the orca family. And they're going to be like, hey, we're here to fucking collect our fish. You know, this part of the ocean could be a very dangerous place. It'd be a real shame if something happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice looking son there. It'd be a shame if something happened to him. So, yeah, they talk like that. Too. Yeah, yeah, they talk like that, too. <laughs> yeah. all, their, all, their, all their high-pitched whale song has that kind of accent to it. I don't know how that works, but it does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty cool animals to start with, so I don't know what, yeah. what else. They can be there, but don't have to. It's pretty good. Yeah. God almost got it right. Well, I mean, you make so many animals. It's like the Beatles, you know? You make so many yeah. songs, a couple are going to sound okay. Right, but yeah. in general, it, you know, you're a garbage band. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a drive-by on the fucking Beatles again. <laughs> yeah. Listen, they're overrated. <laughs> they're way over, They're so overrated. Pick a better old-timey bands that were good. Yeah. Like the Monkees. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they, those guys worked their ass off to get that many episodes of television in in the three years they were active. That's a good okay, point. that's a good point. What's they Ring, sang what's, those songs. What's Ringo Starr done? <laughs> Nothing. Guy's an asshole. If they, if they were such great people, why don't they do something with all our millions? All yeah. right. <clears throat> Thank you. So don't start talking about rich people or off to go on a rant again. <laughs> Turn into like the fifth in a row bummer episode. <laughs> Oh, speaking of bummers, I have a sad story. No, okay. <laughs> so how, let's see. Yeah, so they eat a bunch of stuff. They live in the ocean, so they're never thirsty. That's, that's cool. That's another cool thing. They're never thirsty. They're never thirsty, <laughs> yeah. Ocean. You live in the ocean, you're never thirsty. You get water, water, water everywhere, and all of it yeah. to drink. Wouldn't it be fucked up if, if saltwater fish had to find a source of fresh water to drink? Yeah. It'd be really easy to catch them, just hanging out at, like... River mouths, where the river empties into the ocean. I always assume fish peed, but they can't just drink salt water. No, did we do this? Yeah, some of them can. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. We've already, disco we've already discovered that was true. Yeah, and we've been over the whole ocean as a toilet. Like, that's, they all just go in there, and it's just, it's, there's enough water there that it's cool, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, I went on, a, on a, like, a canoe trip where... All the people I was with th also thought it was cool to just pee in a river right next to me. Like, yeah, I didn't even need to hear about this. <laughs> I can't imagine being there. <laughs> I just keep getting more and more annoyed. Do you know, it, uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, please. I was going to say you should adopt my really direct, um, borderline furious attitude all the time when I talk to people. Mm. Because just last night I was playing video games with Brett and Eric. 
Mm-hmm. And from years and years ago, they still remember how angrily I would yell at them when they came out of the bathroom for them to wash their hands. <laughs> because they didn't wash their hands? Yeah. They'd like go take a piss and be like, no, it's cool. I just touch my wiener, man. My doinker is clean. I washed it earlier. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but were you spraying your out of it earlier? Yeah. You, you know why they still look back, can remember that and laugh about it? It's because they still don't wash their hands. I know. I know. Brett, you're on blast. Wash your hands. <laughs> I think he was defending himself by saying that he does now, but uh, Eric was still yeah, sure, kind of... sure, sure. Eric was still acting like a toddler. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm just saying, like, you know, direct action is really the best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna pee in this river. It's like, hey man, could you not do that? I'm just, I'm just saying. They saw me get out of get out of the boat, yeah, onto some land, yeah. and pee in the woods right. like a regular person, and then right. get back in, and then we just stop and we're hanging out in the water, yeah. and they're just peeing. Yeah, not no, not acceptable. <laughs> I should have taken a big old dump right next to one of them. I should just fucking. God damn it, guys! Could you guys quiet down? I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I'm going to shake this out. So just be a minute. <laughs> you guys want to go swimming later? <laughs> oh, gross. I, I mean, what else is there to do with these uh, killer whales? Should their dorsal fin, is that what the one on top's called? Should that be bigger? Um, Smaller? I don't know. I think it looks okay. Yeah. I think they nailed it. Maybe they can wear, like, the old-style gangster hats on them. <laughs> yeah. Can, can can they have just a trigger finger for, like, Tommy guns? They should have guns of some sort. That's true. Yeah. I don't know how we do that in the ocean, though. Well, you know, we always think of guns uh, from a human perspective. I'm sure a whale developed a gun. They could make it work with, a, with one of those big flippers, you know? Well, I mean, I think we have to leave that to them to develop then. <clears throat> yeah. Their brains are huge. <laughs> <laughs> They're so heavy. <laughs> All right, I proclaim that these are done. Wow, we that did- was... Well, that was quick. That was good. Like I said, sometimes, you know, you make so many animals, God gets one right every now and again. <laughs> For the most part. Fucking 15 yeah. minutes holding their breath, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> Do you remember more of the movie Free Willy? So the kid goes to the aquarium and just, I guess, psychically understands that the whale wants to be free. <clears throat> so they free well, it. And then the whale jumps directly over him. The kid reaches up to touch it, even though he could have probably touched it any time it was in the um, yeah. the pool or whatever. Well, Sean, you know, you don't you don't really get it, right? Like, mm-hmm. they were both, like, they both had the same emotions, right? Oh, yeah, the kid was being kept out in the ocean by whales in a terrarium. <laughs> I think that's already a prequel. I think it's a prequel right there. Because <laughs> in the movie, this this kid's mom just leaves him. And then he's in, he's in foster care. Mm-hmm. He breaks into this marine park and vandalizes it and then gets caught by the cops. How and old so, is he? I remember him being kind of young. Yeah, he was, I don't know, he looked like he was like 12 or 13. Oh. Um, and so he's in foster care and part of his problem is that, and part of his uh, parole is he's got to work at that park cleaning up all that, all that uh, graffiti that he did. Oh, <laughs> just like the whale. <laughs> he's kind of trapped there, okay? Whale's on parole. And then, you know, he's just got this natural rapport with this whale that's that they caught that is not making any money, not doing any any tricks. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, society has sees no value in the whale, just like right. this, it doesn't see any value in this kid. So they want to try to kill the whale, and he's like, I got to get this whale out of here. And then another, another irresponsible adult helps this kid do... Uh, do a prison break for this whale. What do you mean try to kill... Uh, shooting fish in a barrel is a saying. If you've got a whale <laughs> trapped in a pool, you can kill it. Yeah, I don't remember if they wanted to make it look not great or whatever, but... <laughs> I don't know what the optics are of, like... Yeah, uh, SeaWorld, we just killed this whale because it doesn't really do it much for us. <laughs> now, they, they did make one sequel, but I never saw it. <laughs> oh... The whale is free at the end. How do they... I don't know. Um, they made a third movie. <laughs> they made a third one? That's, that's what I'm seeing on Google here. And then I see, I'm see i seeing Free Willy Escape from Pirate's Cove. Dang. So I guess they steal gold from some pirates and then have to escape. <laughs> and 
And I'm imagining the whale loaded down with treasure, leaping over mm-hmm. the child, and then swimming for open waters while the pirates dismember the child. <laughs> so. So, you know, they've got theirs. You know, we can kind of ignore that. But we, we, start with, we start with the prequel where the boy is trapped by a pot of whales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, his mother doesn't want him anymore, so she throws him in the ocean. This pot of whales finds him, and they bring him to their underwater terrarium, where they keep mm-hmm. terrestrial creatures in a kind of zoo. Now what? <laughs> a young whale vandalizes mm-hmm. the terrarium, and then they make that whale. Yeah. And he realizes the boy needs to be freed. Probably because the boy doesn't wash his hands after he pees, and all Probably. the whales are like, fucking gross, let's kill him. And this one whale is like, no, he washed it earlier, I saw. <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to find the plot for this stupid, what? stupid sequel. Free Willy 2? Or... Yeah, yeah. How does, does Free Willy, does the Willy the Whale help him in any way? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, this is fucking dark. So Free Willy 2, the kid's been adopted. Yeah. And the he's a teenager now. Yeah, he's really interested in girls. Um, alright, that's, yeah. Hollywood is fucking disgusting. Yeah. Um, his fu- Dwight. <laughs> I can't see the name without thinking of a K. Shrewd right after it, but shows up and is like, "Hey, <laughs> your your biological mom. We found her, but she's, she's dead. dead. <laughs> you have a you have a half brother. Oh shit. Oh, I f- I found the plot which which starts to involve whales, but I don't know about the same whale. Uh, they're on a camping trip." And an oil tanker runs aground and spills oil into the ocean due to an engine failure, trapping three young killer whales in a small cove. Is that Escape from Pirate's Cove? This is Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm just seeing... I'm skimming it, and I'm seeing a thing that says, uh, yeah. with Luna's condition worsening, Randolph and Jesse eventually used an old Indian remedy that they administered to Luna, who recovers. Yeah, I think the, the guy in the first movie that helps him out is... Native American. Oh, it says Indian here. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if the, if the man who plays him is actually Native American. Maybe, but... Wait a minute. Was the Luna's condition worsening? This is... All right. Yeah. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> movies are pathetic. <laughs> Fucking embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the movie, they don't really show any consequences for his, re- his actions of, uh, you know, helping getting an older man to help him steal a truck to get a whale, um, to get a whale out. Well, I think we do see he gets adopted, so it's <laughs> a good thing, and you should always disobey the law. <laughs> but, like, what is the recourse that that, uh, that Marine Park has for somebody stealing equipment and stealing a whale? I bet if the kid was a ward of the state, they could sue the foster home. Oh, Yeah. Really, really take that foster home down a notch, you know? Right, really I was going to say, we destroy do their funding drama, you know? Yeah. Maybe maybe Jack Nicholson becomes, like, uh, the the franchisee owner of those of the of the park. I thought you were going to say and, the foster and, homes, and I was going to be like, wild, I love this no, idea. No, no. And Tom, Tom Cruise is the, uh, is the lawyer for the foster home. Oh, like in that other movie. Yeah. A few good men, right? A few good men. Called A Few Good Willies. <laughs> Were there, were there as many penis jokes about the title of this movie in Whale as I think there were? I don't know. Because that's, that's all I can think of. It came out when I was young, I think, so... Yeah, 93. So you were... Oh, yeah, I would have been like 8 or 9. Yeah. And yet you mostly remembered it. Well, it's not a complicated fucking plot. I mean... <laughs> the, the kid finds the whale, the whale wants to be free, he helps free the whale. Yeah, I mean, put it like that. It's very simple. He frees Willie. Willie now having... Um, a hand in the ocean world and the human world teaches the other f- pods of whales uh, more capitalistic ways. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that, that leads to something. He helps, like, fund startups. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of like a Silicon Valley, but yeah. So I think, how about this? How about as a direct sequel, mm-hmm. right? Instead of yeah. becoming a weird investor. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what if, okay, so Willie helps this kid, right? Now he owes the kid mm-hmm. a life debt. So the kid's out on the boat one yeah. day and Willie shows up and he, he, Willie knows where all the fucking ships sink. Oh. So he leads the kid to like pirate gold and other down ships the kid can claim as like money. And anything that's 15 minutes 
down. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> or that he can see from 15 minutes down. Or actually, yeah, that yeah. he can see from, what, seven and a half minutes down? Because he's got to come back yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll, killer whales, they cannot hold their breath. It's a, very long. It's embarrassing. All. Yeah. <laughs> it is. We know. So how, how about how about this? How about this? After after uh, his time in captivity, after they free free Willie, not not only he t- he takes the name Killer Whale very seriously now. He's 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 deranged from his captivity. Oh, and because he's got a mental disorder, he's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. He starts killing other killer whales. Oh man, yeah. He's a killer, killer whale. Whale. Yeah. Right. <laughs> killer whale of killer whales. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else? What else happens? Because <laughs> that just sounds kind of like a like a snuff yeah. film for whales <laughs> that you okay. described to me. So Willie sets up all these elaborate uh, crime scenes of murders based on the seven deadly sins. <laughs> the seven deadly whale sins. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I like that. That's good. Yeah. And then, yeah. What's in the net? <laughs> What's in the net? Don't look. It's what he wants you to do. I'd watch that. Yeah. What I thought you were going to go with was um, mm. he traps other whales in rooms. Mm. With elaborate puzzles where they have to maim themselves to get out. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know how well that works. And also, I've never seen a soft film. Yeah. You're woken, you're woken up. This killer whale is just netted into a small cove. Yeah. The only way to, to release the netting to get out of the cove is to eat through. One of the members of the family Complicated. has the key embedded in them. Yeah, but you don't know what one. They have to eat through the family to find out which one has the key. Mm. Sick. Mm. Yeah, okay. That's one. That's disgusting. All right. So I was going to say for um, less of a horror movie vibe and just like a regular action kind of movie vibe, mm. um, I guess in my extended universe, when Willie's helping this kid find pirate treasure. Mm. So first of all, there's other treasure hunters that don't like this. Yeah, for and sure. And they're all like, let's go kill this whale. But also the, the, the aquarium mm-hmm. still wants their money from that whale. Oh yeah. And so they they're gonna help kind of fund these these treasure hunters to go kill the fucking whale. Yeah, because they were gonna use its body for like the blubber, sell it on the black market. You know, they were gonna make some coin, mm-hmm. put its skeleton up in like their yeah as an exhibit. They want their money, and this kid is just out there getting all this free pirate gold. Yep. And that's like yeah, kids gotta flee and help Willie. I want more land-based team-ups, but I don't know what to do with the whale. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tricky one, huh? I guess we just use his Indian friend. Yeah, his Indian friend uses some <laughs> poultice that he, you know, with ancient, quote-unquote, Indian yeah. knowledge and wisdom. Free Willy 4, off the reservation. Pretty much. Uh, Isn't Hollywood terrible? <laughs> yeah. All right, how about this? In the future, there are no whales, mm. right? Okay. But there's this there's this big robot coming towards Earth making a noise and mm. and <laughs> Captain Kirk has to come back into the past to get some whales. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, that's already a movie. Okay, that's all right. Willie, you know, he's back in a in a marine park, an aquarium, right? Uh huh. Sitting there, but he's doing all the tricks he can, but the park is still not making any money. Right. Yeah, and, and so they hire a group of scientists from, I don't know, some sort of research lab to e- genetically engineer new types of whales and dolphins. But, okay, but they're just going to end up on an island now. Like, <laughs> the thing I liked about this movie pick was that because they're whales, we literally can't put them on an island. <laughs> they eventually surround an island. Um, <laughs> people want to see more and more aggressive whales. But this one camouflages its own skin, mm-hmm. rips out the tracker, mm-hmm. causes havoc. Jimmy Buffett's there. Is he? D- did you see Jurassic World? Is Jimmy Buffett in it? <laughs> he made an appearance, yeah. When? For like three seconds. You know when uh, they let the flying dinosaurs out? I guess. And they go towards like the like you know like the little lobby area where all the restaurants and stuff are. Oh yeah, they fly in like a straight line. 
yeah, just try to tell the people where for people are, reason. even though they don't really know what people are. Or, yeah, that they yeah. get good prey. Okay, yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty sure Jimmy Buffett is one of the guys that gets like snatched up. I believe he is trying to grab his margarita and run. Oh, this was that. That's the time where they have like this really extended, brutal killing of a woman who didn't deserve it. And it's like yeah, really of someone who's hired to watch kids. Yeah, it's like really intensely uncomfortable to watch because you can tell it <laughs> yeah. was basically snuff porn for the people making the film. Yeah. yeah. They're like, like, well, if we're going to kill her like this, do you think we should develop her character more first? No, nah. Oh, you see, she's disinterested. She lost the kids. Yeah. She deserves it. Women deserve to be treated like garbage. That was basically the message of the film, <laughs> as far as I can tell. <laughs> it was the fucking worst. <clears throat> so, all right. <laughs> We've done it. I don't know what else we can do. <laughs> You could do a Jaws thing, so, right? I get yeah. Uh, was there a whale in... Oh, no, they made a whale movie after the popularity of Jaws about a killer whale. Yeah, but this one's like the whole pod shuts down, like, um, Boston Harbor. They're robbing banks in Boston, wearing nun masks. Mm, no, see, they're on land again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just have them, like, smashing up shipping containers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To get it at J.P. Morgan's cocaine. <laughs> yeah, they get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this is a drug trade, right? And they, they have to ship the stuff by boat. After a terrible accident, the drugs fall in the water. Get a pot of whales addicted to it. Oh, yeah. Fucking coked out yeah. whales? Now we're talking. Coked out whales. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the drug cartels thought, <laughs> thought that the, uh, the DEA was their, was their biggest problem. Turns out their problem lies deep in the yeah. ocean. At least seven and a half minutes down. Lies in the SEA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put that on the back of the fucking VHS tape. <laughs> and you have one of those, like, terrible... Well, oh, like... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we call the movie Crime Wave? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. In one of those terrible 70s-like scenes when the, when the whale first gets its um, taste of cocaine... Or like it like zooms in on the eye really close and backs it backs it and out as people dilates and you hear that yeah 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 I could taste for it yeah Good. crime wave crime wave this summer <laughs> all right now we're done that, yeah yeah I think I think that usually happens we we wait we wait till the last fucking minute till we fucking nail the idea but crime wave is a great idea cooked out cooked out killer whales yeah. shutting down Boston Harbor. <laughs> Candy, no transition. See? Isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah. This time around, we had uh, peanut butter M&Ms. Mm -hmm. Sean, did you actually have peanut butter M&Ms? I've had them before. <laughs> but I did, in fact, go buy a little bag and eat them. Yeah. Okay. How'd it go? It exactly like I remembered, and I didn't have to buy them. Nice. But yeah, they're good. Yeah. They're not too heavy on the peanut butter. They're not too heavy mm -hmm. on the candy shell. Mm. They're maybe a little bit too much of a sugar blast for me, but... Yeah, in your old age, you're not, you can't handle all the can't sugar. can't handle all the sugar. <laughs> in my old age? <laughs> in this economy? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, they're good. They're, I would put them... Mm. I would tentatively put them top of the shelf. Oh, oh, whoa. I, I, they are pretty good. I actually though. think they're better than the um, Reese's Pieces. Yeah, because you, you get the Reese's Pieces are so small, mm -hmm. and the ch the peanut butter is not as good. Yeah, I I feel like there's more just actual like white granular sugar in them. I yeah. don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I mean Et loved them, but he that was his first first thing of candy he's ever yeah. had. So of course he's gonna he's gonna go nuts he's, for him. He's an alien too. So yeah, yeah. I think I think the size of a peanut butter M and M is good, you know, substantial. Wow, E. T. was basically free willy, wasn't it? <laughs> or yeah. vice versa, whatever came first. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I I think E. T. came first because it was the '80s and free willy was like '93. Uh -huh. But <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chronological time that plays that plays. I was I enjoyed them. The, the, there's a vending machine at work that dispenses them. And uh, it also dispenses drinks, so they come out. They come out chilled. They're pretty good that way. They're pretty good. Mm. <laughs> is M M&M and M Mars as bad as Nestle? 
Probably. Maybe just not as openly so. Mm. Nestle is like a cackling maniac on the subway, screaming yeah. about nonsense that you can't get away from, where they're like, water <laughs> isn't a right. Right. But Mar Eminem Mars isn't into the water game yet. They'll get there. <laughs> but even when they get there, I think they'll just do it quietly, like a proper yeah. crime syndicate, and not like the childish stomping around of Nestle. Nestle thinks it's their right. Yeah, and they want to scream about it, because they, you know, they're idiots. Uh, how does this compare for you for other M&M's? Like, the plain M&M's are, are fine, right? I don't like that much chocolate all at once, generally. I mean, not no. that kind of chocolate, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, regular m and yeah, they're, they are, regular M&M's are fine, but I, I would yeah. prefer the peanut butter M&M's. I think, I think for me it's going to be uh, the pretzel M&M, &M, peanut butter, and then the uh, peanut M&M. Those, those, those are the tops for me, I think. Oh, the peanut M&M's are pretty good. I would put those above regular M&M's. For sure. Yeah. There's just more going on, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely. They're not, they're not one note. I mean, if you're going with pretzel M&M's, though, if you're going with pretzels and chocolate, why not just go get flips? Oh, yeah. None of the movie theaters around me sell flips. Mm. And I'm like, well, that's my preferred movie snack, so so what's the deal? Yeah. Sitting there, i got to resort to Twizzlers. Ugh. Or like Sour Patch Kids, you know? That's Come on. pretty gross. They usually have a different uh, M&M mascot for each of the uh, M&Ms. You know, like the peanut M&M is a fat, stupid one. Um, yeah. Is, is the pretzel one that's nervous? Or no, the caramel one's nervous. It looks like the peanut butter M&M mascot is just the regular M&M mascot, but his hair is made of peanut butter. Like he's pretending to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. I don't know anything about, <laughs> about it. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. All right. And say it's 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 better than the the caramel of the M and M having its own personality. And then the idea behind the commercials is that the M and Ms eat the caramel, but you can still hear it in their stomachs. Yeah, the M and M, the M and M averse is, is pretty yeah. nightmarish. For a while, they were doing like attractive celebrities, like putting the M and Ms in in an oven or like biting them, oh, like yeah. pieces of them too. off. Was Robert De Niro like, in one of those? It feels like the kind of thing he'd do. <laughs> I don't want to type sexualized M&M commercials into my... Um, I'll go ahead and do that. Google. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a eating in bed. So let me go ahead and... It's 30 seconds long. Let me just go ahead and watch this real quick on... <laughs> just got to go ahead and uh, pull that real quick. <laughs> yeah. So that M&M commercial, uh, you know, a man walks into a bedroom and then is shocked that his wife is in bed with the M&M. But they don't reveal the M&M till, you know, 15 seconds in and he's saying things like how could you do this to me? And she's like it's not no. what it looks like. Yeah, it's really not great. And then the the yellow M&M comes out of the closet where probably I think we we are to assume he was masturbating <laughs> while watching The red and the yellow were a pair apparently in these in these yeah. ads. So Yeah. I'm done watching those ads forever. Okay. Well, I just want to, I, there's this one commercial here I just watched where they're watching an attractive woman lay out on um, lawn furniture huh. from a balcony trying to get a better view, mm. and the yellow m m falls, lands in her lap, and she is very excited. Mm. And they, they both leave walking out, and uh, the yellow m m leaves with a bite taken out of them and lipstick kiss marks all over them. So do you think that... Um... And here's here's a modern sex thing I do know about. Do you think that the M and M ads contributed to the 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 vor concept? Vor? Do you know vor? I don't think so. Vor is people who get off to the thought of being eaten. Go ahead and type vor v o r e. Go ahead and Google vor v o r e. Okay, I'm gonna stop these uh, just disgusting M and M commercials here. V o r e. I hate where conversations with you go, but we have to talk about vor now. <laughs> Urban Dictionary fantasizes about being eaten alive or eaten or eating another creature alive. Yep. Ugh. Soft vor being swallowed or swallowing whole with no bloodshed. Right, well, I didn't know about soft vor. Yeah, then there is also a common hard vor, which involves tearing and chewing of flesh. Uh huh. But okay, there's just like there's okay. I understand there's different fetishes, right? But uh huh. How can you have a fetish of being eaten alive and torn up? I don't know. You must, you must be a psychopath. I mean, does someone have to, like, tear your flesh for you to, like, finish? Like, 
Well, that's not how kinks work, Jeff, but... No, I, I guess I'm very plain. I don't know. <laughs> just... I think a kink is just a thing you like, not a thing that you need, not okay. a thing that's required for you to get off. I get, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. So, yeah. But they preferred it. I, right? I don't that... know, man. I don't, I don't know how deep the vor rabbit hole goes. And I don't, well, I won't ever learn. I'm not interested in knowing. It's just... But I just, I just think that the M&M commercials help contribute to, to making this phenomenon at least more popular. Oh, I mean, just from the definition from Urban Dictionary, I, I, I have to agree mm-hmm. with you. Um, what is that fetish where, like, there people are into, like, giant women? Whale tail. Um, <laughs> I honestly don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know either. I guess, I, I, I guess I'll look it up since I brought yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah. You didn't want to look up sexualized M&M commercial, but now you got vor <laughs> and, what, giant woman fetish? Just finish, just auto finish for me. Google, you piece of shit. Men's Health article, what it's like to have macrophilia or a giant woman fetish. Macrophilia. Well, okay, hold up. How giant are we talking now? I don't know. I just, because when you said like vor, like being eaten alive, like swallowed, I was like, oh yeah, like those weirdos are into like giant women, you know? But I think maybe it was just a music video I saw where there was a giant woman and somebody swallowed them, but. Yeah. What kind of fucking music are you into these days? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Um, entering or being dominated or being eaten by the larger woman. Okay. But, like, what is what defines giant, like, just bigger than you or, like, giant, like a Dungeons and Dragons hill giant? I was assuming, like, a hill giant. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe, but this is, maybe a frost giant. But it says others involved partners naturally have um, significant si- difference in size. But I think the thing is, like, much larger than you, like, could crush mm. you. I don't think that plays into these M&M commercials. I, no, you just you just had an idle thought about a, this yeah. fetish, unrelated, and had to look it up and share it. Yeah, mm-hmm. unrelated, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I had to Google search it. It wasn't a bookmark. Yeah. And, yeah. Um... yeah. <laughs> All right, where would you put your M&Ms? Top of the shelf? I, I, think, I think they're yeah. top of the shelf, for sure. They're pretty good. I agree on that. So these are, these yeah. are definitely top of the shelf. Good work. Giant faces corporation that probably harms the environment and treats its workers like garbage. <laughs> yeah. You, you nailed it. You created nailed a it. product uh, that people <laughs> can consume. Oh, I saw um, the Tony Chocoloni stuff at my market basket recently. Oh, nice. So maybe, maybe uh, next time you're in a market basket, uh, swing by and look, see if it's... Pretty uh, much never in a market basket, but s- all right. Slow rollout. <laughs> oh, it's all rolled out now. Okay. Maybe. All right. Um, but great job. This this has been the uh, Heads Up podcast with Jeff and Sean. I'm, I'm Jeff. Sean. <laughs> if you if you have any other fetishes that that pop up when you are reminded of peanut M and M's, if, if um, you've been swallowed by a giant woman, <laughs> please let us know. Let us know. Yeah, we've got um, several ways to get in contact with us. There's an Instagram and a Twitter, and a Gmail, and it's all Heads Up Pod. The Gmail ends in at gmail.com, and the other ones start with at. But, you know, it's 2019. You figure it out. What else do you say? <laughs> you've got a, you've got a, you sell products? Oh, yeah. We, we have, a, we have a, a, a store where you can buy a fursuit t-shirt. Um, and that's, that's, I think it's headsup.threadless.com. But I'm just going to look that up right yeah. now. Yeah, headsup.threadless.com brings me to a loading page. Mm-hmm. Okay, go on. Well, our, our our store is pretty exclusive, so you might have to wait in line a little bit. <laughs> but I promise it's well worth the wait for you to give us money for yeah. products. Yeah, okay, heads up to com. If you're a furry who is into giant women and vor, but you're on a budget. Yeah, yeah. this is this is the this is the shop This for is you. the first suit for you. Is- <laughs> as well as getting classic heads up merch, the more recent logo design and any any Brett merchandise where he's um, photoshopped to look like Schmeagle from Lord of the Rings. All right. I've never been to the store, but... <laughs> I'd say you're missing out, but, yeah, I, th- I think you'll do fine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel okay about it. Um, if you want to do our Indiegogo to watch me, to fund me going and seeking out a sperm whale and schooling yep. it, that Indiegogo page um, is not live TBD. yet. TBD. We'll let you know. 
TBD. This has been the Heads Up Podcast, <laughs> and we're popping off. Toodles. <laughs>